I'm Lauren Schoen, a technology education teacher at John H. Walker Middle School in Nutley, New Jersey. This video will show my students' design process when creating hydro turbines and modifications for you to use this project in your classroom. The hydroelectric plant at the Great Falls in Patterson, New Jersey was the inspiration for this project's design brief. This plant was renovated in 1986 to increase the potential power capacity to 10,950 kilowatts. Your engineering team has traveled back in time to 1986 and has been hired to design a hydroelectric system that can harness the power of falling water from the Great Falls in Patterson. Your team will build a working model of a hydro turbine that will produce the strongest voltage. A reservoir of water is held in a PVC pipe with reducers to a ball valve. The working model turbine is connected to a generator that is attached to a multimeter to measure the voltage produced. Before building a hydroelectric system, the amount of potential power is calculated to see if the system will generate enough power for an application or to make a profit. The potential power is calculated by multiplying the head by the rate of flow by the force of gravity. Your team will take measurements and calculate the potential power from the tester. You will calculate the rate of flow of the tester multiple times using a stopwatch along with analyzing video recordings to determine the accurate rate of flow. The force of gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. The actual output power is less because the system is not 100% efficient. The efficiency of the Great Falls system is 92.1%. Your team will research different types of turbines, including the Pelton, Crossflow, and Kaplan designs. Sketch ideas you can make with the materials you have available. Plan your design using CAD software such as Inventor, AutoCAD, and Google SketchUp. Follow all safety rules and precautions in the shop when building. Testing will be filmed and analyzed in editing software. Data is collected from this film and graphed for final conclusions. If you have a sink available to you, you can also calculate rate of flow and test turbines. Try testing different size generators and comparing the results. You may also build your own generator with coils of magnet wire and permanent magnets. These turbines can also power small light bulbs in an architecture model or charge capacitors. All footage has been personally taken in my classroom and at the Great Falls in Patterson, New Jersey. The music used is royalty free from footage firm. This video was created for the NJTEA's Innovative Technology Educator Award, sponsored by the Edison Venture Fund. I release the rights to this video to the NJTEA for use in any professional purposes.